Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be a how to do video for the Fitbit Versa. So basically we'll be learning how to transfer music onto the Versa. So this is going to be the same process for Versa 1 and Versa 2. Uh, now, uh, the thing with Versa is uh, if you have the Versa edition, not the light edition, uh, then you have an inbuilt memory of 4 GB. So you can actually transfer music onto it. And then uh, with a Bluetooth earphone, you can actually listen to the music. So that's actually a pretty good feature. Uh, now let's go ahead uh, see how to actually transfer it now uh, before we start let me just tell you about the process how to do it and then we will be seeing it practically how to actually transfer it I'll show you with some YouTube music so uh, royalty free uh, the ones where I will not get any uh, strikes so those video those music I'll be transferring and I will be showing you that so uh, it depends on you which music you want to put uh, it does not have any copyright uh, issue on it like we used to get that with a lot of other uh, devices where you have to, if you download something from a certain app uh, you will not be able to transfer it onto the device so those used to be problems before but now nowadays uh, the devices don't have those issues so the drm licensing thing is not there so let's go ahead see how to do this so uh, let me talk about it first so first of all to transfer it you need a computer it cannot be transferred from a phone a ios or android device it does not support it i don't know why was that uh, but you cannot transfer it from there so uh, basically you have to switch on the music transfer option on the watch once that is on this will uh, connect to your wi-fi signal so whichever home wi-fi you are connected to uh, the computer has to be connected to the same wi-fi network so uh, in my house there's a wi-fi network going on uh, this is connected to that wi-fi network now the computer has to be connected to the same wi-fi network then you have to uh, install an app named fitbit connect so after you install that app onto your laptop uh, then with that you can go ahead and uh, there's an option there will be three options we will have to choose transfer music option and then choose the file the drag and drop create playlist you can do all of that so once you do uh, you've done that uh, through the wi-fi the uh, music is sent to the watch so that's the process now let's go ahead and see how to actually do it okay so let's go ahead and see how to actually transfer it now from the phone oh, sorry from the watch itself i have to switch on the transfer option now one thing let me just show you this a lot of people have this confusion now uh, people think that you just put this into the cradle and that will work now you hear the sound it's actually connected to the computer but it does not allow you to transfer anything so a usb connection is not an option to transfer music onto a fitbit versa i don't know why was that done it's really strange ideally that would have been an easier way but that's not there that's not the case now in case you're wondering why is it all dark uh, because of the screens i kept the entire room a little dark so you can see the screens better so uh, this is one of the watch faces not the actual one that comes with the versa i changed it now let me show you how to transfer music now go into the music option here choose music now there's no music on this right now now i'll hit the transfer music option here so once i do that it will go into the transfer mode where this will open up a channel through the wi-fi network so i'm connected to the same wi-fi network so that's what you have to make sure that you're connected to the wi-fi network now this is it it's uh, started now uh, till the time i do not press end now it's open for music transfer now i have to go and download uh this app now you have to go to fitbit.com.in.setup uh, and download for windows you have this option here download that you get the fitbit connect version 2.0 so that's the one i'll put the link below uh in the video itself now once you download it install it once you install it uh this is how the app will look like okay open up open main menu okay so that's how the app will look like now you have three options manage my music set up a new fitbit device and sync now so uh, you will have to log in with your fitbit username and password after that you get the screen now i'll choose the manage my music option I press that now it'll ask you to make sure that it goes into uh, do what we did before transfer music option and then you'll see here it says looking for a watch and it's done so it's found the watch and now it will give you options to transfer music now uh, what i'll do is i'll create a new playlist create playlist now you see it's a little buggy it doesn't work that great every time uh if i press it it keeps making different playlists at the bottom i have to be careful about that uh now i'll just delete the ones that i 
made by mistake. So it does not give you an option to uh, name the playlist when you click on new playlist. So you'll have to create a playlist first and then go into the playlist and then edit the name. So I'll edit the name to Ken's fave and that's it. That's the playlist. Now all that I have to do is drag and drop the music. So this is where the music is. This is the folder. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven music uh, files. Now all these are YouTube music, which are uh, allowed to be used in videos uh, free of cost. So that's why I'm choosing these to show you how it actually works. So I can either just choose all of them like that and drag and drop like this. You see that it's working. Uh, if not, what I can do is just hold the uh, folder itself, which is this one, and then take it like that and just leave it. So that's it. Now, once you do that, all the files will be shown over here. And you see, you have an option of dragging the files. You can actually make uh, make it go, make the file go up or down, or like uh, if you want it in a sequence, you can do that. Now, as soon as you do this, the over here, you see this option. As soon as you press that, you'll see that the uh, transfer has been started. Now it says it's trying to see how long does it uh, will it take to transfer. Now it's going to start the transfer. Now you'll see the dots over here. Those will change. Now let's just leave it here. Now let's see what's happening on the watch. So the watch looks like it's on normal mode. Nothing is happening. It's gone to regular thing. It has been cancelled or something, but no, it's actually working. If you go into music, you'll see that the transfer is on. So it is running in the background. Now let's keep this there. Leave it for some time. There are seven songs, 19 minutes. It's going through. Let's see how long will it take. You'll see a progress bar here. That will go through and then you will see the entire music thing going on. So let's wait for this to complete. Now the time over here says estimated transfer time, two minutes. So let's see if it's done in two minutes. Now you see over here, uh, as soon as the music has been transferred, you'll see a blue dot there. That means it has been transferred to the watch. Now one more strange thing I found is you cannot really maximize this. You cannot make this big. You cannot drag it. You cannot make, make, uh, I mean, uh, increase the size of this window. It always remains in this size. Uh, I always have to drag this for some reason so i don't know why was that so it's like most of the things are um i mean the finishing is not being done it's somewhere in between so that's one thing which i realized with the fitbit so let, let me just talk about this once so one thing i've noticed is uh the the app is still buggy uh, on the watch even here it's all buggy it doesn't work properly every time there are times when you have to uh, redo things four five times so that's something which I did not like, uh, even though Fitbit has been in this industry for a long time. Uh, this is their, uh, uh, actually their uh, second edition uh, where it's actually targeting a smartwatch industry. Uh, before that, it was completely a fitness related band or a watch uh, from the Ionic. They started with Ionic and then this one, the uh, Versa. So Versa is basically uh, something similar to the Pebbles. Uh, I have Pebble devices also, so I, I really like Pebble dev devices. So uh, this is something similar to that. So the design element has been taken from there. Uh, the newer Versa 2 actually has more of a design element of uh, the Apple Watch. And this one, there's a mix of that. So uh, I'll be doing a full review of this. Uh, that'll be my second video. I'll be finishing that today itself because the Versa 2 has come, I'll have to buy that now. Uh, so my one year review, my long term review is going to happen here. So you'll be knowing how good or bad is the previous one going to be in case you get it for cheap uh, now. Is it going to be worth it or not? And what all features can you expect from this? So we'll be doing that later on. Okay, so the music has been transferred. So you see, uh, the music has been transferred, the blue line over here, uh, that actually shows you how much of storage is left. So I just used that much of storage. So that's it. It's done. So that's how you transfer music. Now let's see over here. Now let's end. Now you see Kitson's fave has come up over here. If I choose that, those are the music files. If I choose that to play it, it'll ask me, uh, it'll give me the headphone option. So I'll have to go and 
add a headphone first now you'll uh, it'll ask me for the source and stuff that i'll talk about later on uh, so you can actually control your phone's music also from this so let me go ahead add a bluetooth device to this and then let's see how it works uh, actually i think i have one over here okay so i have one plus bullet lying around so let me just do this let me just try connecting it with the bullets okay now okay so this is going to be a video on how to connect a bluetooth device now uh okay so bluetooth audio device now it'll search okay one plus bullets and done so it's been paired uh now let's try playing some music okay thank you done done now i'll go into my music option music and I'll play. Now the volume up down is here. Wow, that's actually so loud that I can actually hear from it. So the amplification on this is pretty good. That's what uh, I really liked about this. Now, okay. So this is something that a lot of people don't know about the Fitbit Versa, that the amplification on this is very good. Uh, so uh, if you're looking for something which actually plays music, then this is a good option. Now, the only thing which doesn't go uh, with it is, uh, like I use the same feature on my Apple Watch. Uh, the thing with Apple Watch is I can just take my Apple Watch and go. It has a built-in GPS, so I don't need my phone for my uh, tracking. So for how, how fast I was running my pace and everything uh, is accurate if I use a, a device which has GPS. Now with this, uh, it doesn't have GPS, so I'll have to use a, a phone to get the GPS out of it. So uh, the music option doesn't help there. Uh, because if I have my phone, then I'll be putting the music on my phone itself. I won't be putting it over here. So that's the only catch. So that's how you transfer music. I'll be talking about the rest of the things in my other videos. Uh, do comment, ask me the questions. I'll make videos for specific questions uh, later on. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment. And I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.